Um, so what brings you today? So I've been having a lot of abdominal pain and like pain in my lower back. Okay. Is that, uh, do you see that coinciding at all with um, type of mm, No, okay. it's, okay. it has nothing to do with that. It's like wow. always. All the time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, typically we like to start with examining any pre-existing conditions or anything that might be happening first. Uh, no, no pre-existing conditions. None? Mm-mm. And when was the last time you were in our office? Um, maybe nine months ago. So it's been a while. Okay. Uh, and there's been no changes to your diet, no changes to your job? Mm, no. What's your water intake look like? I drink a lot of water. <laughs> we all have a different definition for a lot. What, is that about a cup for you? I drink, I work out a lot. I don't. Oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh. Okay. What is, um, and we all have different definitions of working out. What does that look like for you? I run steps. I like speed walk. I work out about five days a week. Five. Yeah. And you're, you have enough water to kind of offset that exercise? I, I drink a lot of water. You know, maybe that much water intake might be the problem. No. Have you had a urinalysis done yet? <laughs> <laughs> have you had a urinalysis done? Um, I'm sorry, I'm a no. test. Okay. I'm not pregnant. And, you know, sometimes we're not sure or we don't know. I know that I'm not pregnant. I'm in a, I'm okay. with a woman. I've been with a woman for eight years. I know I'm not pregnant. Okay. All right. Well, uh, why don't I get the nurse in here and she'll run some tests here. We'll, we'll really get to the bottom of this and see what's going on. Thank you so much. Yeah. You really want to know, like, where the pain is or anything like that? We're just scratching things off the list right now. Let's just knock off your analysis. Make sure you're not pregnant. See where you're at your cycle, and then we'll start. We'll start from there. We'll start <sighs> talking about where that is. Okay. Thank you. I'll be right back. <laughs> insurance coverage and my copay is actually only twenty dollars so yeah that exactly. should be on file I sent that over in advance that you should have my insurance information oh I wasn't sure if that was off today it's um yeah, yeah it is Kaiser is that right uh-huh I and now typically Kaiser usually um covers only full-time employees are you are you certain that that's Kaiser mm -hmm. are you sure you're not OHP it's Kaiser. Okay. Uh, sh yes, it is Kaiser. I also feel like you're making some real value judgments over there. So if we could just get this code done, that'd be great. Wonderful. Um, yeah. Do you have a valid credit card? Hey, so I'm coming in today for a referral. Um, I'd really like to do a sleep study. I'm having a really hard time feeling really fatigued and tired and sleep apnea runs in my family. So I'd just really like to get a study. Mm -hmm. uh, how long have you had been? How long have you uh, been having trouble sleeping? Mm, I would say probably the last like year, two years. Okay. Uh, so tell me a little bit more about your your lifestyle. What kind of things do you like to eat during the day? How much activity do you get? Physical, any sort of exercise? Uh, I don't even see how that's relevant to a sleep study. Well, a lot of times we see that with sleep apnea, one of the biggest uh, triggers is that people are overweight or obese. Um, I really don't like the term obese, like I really disagree with that on like an ethical level and also my body size actually doesn't have an, isn't an indicator when it comes to a sleep study, like I, I, it runs in my family so it's actually like a hereditary thing. Yeah, you me. know, uh, research does show, you're right, that it can be hereditary, mm -hmm. um, but what about the rest of your family, are they overweight and obese as well? Uh, they are not overweight or obese. They also have different body sizes, but like, again, like you just said, like it does, it is like a hereditary thing. So like it runs in the family and doesn't have a correlation with their bodies as they've been told by their doctors as well that it's actually do you, about. Do you know what your BMI is? My what? Um, body mass index. It's an uh, indicator of, uh, you know, whether or not uh, patients tip into a place where we get a little concerned about their weight. 
I feel like we're going a little sideways here. I came in to talk a little bit about a sleep study and we're talking a lot about weight and that's okay. actually not the emphasis that I'm really going for. Like I really just wanna focus on like, why am I fatigued in the morning and being able to just like have good heart health as well since it, studies have shown that people who don't use a CPAP can also have um, higher rates of like cardiac, um, cardiac health things and I just yeah. wanna be on top of that. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you've really been doing your research, mm -hmm. and I, I can really appreciate that. I I uh, haven't done a lot of uh, research myself on understanding why people don't like the term obese. I imagine it can feel uncomfortable, but you know, in in medical uh, in the medical world, we still use that language. So um, we can use whatever you'd like. What would you like? Uh, how would you like me to to talk about? To talk about my body? Uh, yeah. Um, I'd like you to just say my body, my body and not use the term obese or overweight. Um, yeah, there's a lot of reasons for that, but it does sound like you've got some research to do to be able to understand that a little bit. So, mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hi there. Hi. Uh, I was here about an hour ago, mm -hmm. and um, I just went to my referral and got to my insurance purposes, so I want to make sure that my information's correct. Sure, sure. Um, let me pull your information up. And uh, what's your name? Uh, CESA, C E S A. Okay. And do you have your ID with you? Actually, do this. Great. Let's see. Mm hmm. Hmm. Um. Is this is this ID correct? Yes, that's correct. It's uh, because it says your I know. are you, I but know. you look like uh, it says your F. Your sex is F, but it you don't look like that. That's cool. I just need you to make sure that it matches on my. So uh, sure. Okay, let's see. Hmm. It doesn't look like it matches in our system, so I'll change that. What's the um? What's the F. appointment that you need to make? Uh, I need a referral for. Uh, All right. Can you say that again? <clears throat> my um my annual. Did you say pap smear? Is that right? I did. Okay. Talk to you about them. I've actually been doing a lot of research uh, about what's going on and other meds that might be able to work. Like we're gonna was mm. hoping to talk about interactions, uh, side Can effects. Can you take a deep breath in for me? And out. So I've been doing a lot of research about it. Um, I've actually been checking in with a lot of my community. And this seems to be something that happens a lot. Sounds like there's no side effects happening for you right now. Well, it's more than just no side effects. I really wanted to hone in on where who I'm from and or who I am and. and the community that I that I come from and the, the effects that this illness is having on us and maybe what other things we've done in the past as a culture to be able to take care of this. I mean, luckily we live in the Western civilization where there's been so many growth points in how far medicine has come. So mm -hmm. you're so lucky that you get to experience that. Right, and at the same time be able to navigate this as a culturally um, significant experience, right? Um, how do I spell your name again? Uh, C-E-S-A-R? Um, Caesar. No, uh, Caesar. Caesar. No, Caesar. Mm, okay, so Caesar. Um, it looks like since there aren't any side effects, that our plan of care has been working really well. Um, right. No, it has been. I just wanted to add other kind of integ integrative ways of taking care of this, since a lot of this has to do with where I come from, and, and my people are really suffering from this illness a lot. And we've been treating it really well for the last uh -huh, like uh -huh. hundred years uh -huh. or so. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, I want to talk mm -hmm. to you about some herbs that I've been mm -hmm, really looking mm -hmm, at. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, have you ever heard of this tincture? Um, well, it looks like since our plan of care is working so well, really you can just talk with a nurse about scheduling a follow-up appointment about two to four weeks and just keep me posted about how things are going for you. Okay. I'm trying. So good to see you, Caesar. No, Take care. Take care. Yeah. Mm -hmm.